Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace website designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to be talking about Squarespace SEO, specifically four things you can do to rank number one in Google in 2022. So I know that ranking or showing up on the first page in Google can seem impossible. The web is completely riddled with so many different strategies and tips and techniques, and it can seem very overwhelming, very technical, um, and impossible to accomplish. And so we're going to create a game plan for you today um, for you to increase your SEO. SEO, specifically looking at ranking factors in Google in 2022. So the very first step that I want you to do is go to Squarespace's SEO checklist. And I've linked this below the video, but you can also find it by going to marketing, SEO, and they've got it linked right there, their SEO checklist. And in this checklist, they'll go through all sorts of different strategies and things you can do before you publish your site, after you've published your site, and so on. And I suggest you just go through and follow all of their ideas. I particularly want you to pay attention to content best practices. I mean, this has to do with your text content, how to structure your content and use keywords, how to prepare your images, and so on. And this will really help make sure that your pages start off on the right foot, that you're not going to negatively affect your page loading time, and that you're setting up your site so that the Google bots can uh, crawl your site and know what is on your site. So if you find that on your site you have kind of titles everywhere, um, maybe you have a heading one here and then um, a heading three and another heading one and so on, it's going to make it very hard for the bots to crawl through the code that's created when you use these um, blocks in Squarespace, which is gonna make it harder for Google to trust your site and, and know what's on it. So make sure that you're following these content best practices, that you're doing all the things that Squarespace has said to do, um, so that you're starting off on the right foot. So that's your very first step, is to go through Squarespace's SEO checklist. Now that we've got the basics of SEO out of the way, we're going to look at Google's um, ranking factors. And this is an article by First Page Sage, and they have done this big study on the Google algorithm. They've been doing this for years, and they've published what they believe is the 2022 Google algorithm ranking factors. And a lot of this does match up with other articles that I've found, and we're going to be looking at their top three. So first step was Squarespace's SEO. The next three involved the top uh, three Google algorithm ranking factors according to First Page Sage. The first one, you can see here the biggest slice of the pie, is consistent publication of high quality content. What does that mean? It means that you are regularly posting high quality content for your viewers. This establishes you as a leader in your field and again, this is the top ranking factor for Google in 2022. So this includes blogs, podcasts, videos, articles. There's a whole bunch of ways that you can do this, but essentially it's all strategies for keeping your visitors on your page, which indicates to Google that your website is somewhere that searchers want to be. Um, different articles uh, and different companies suggest different things. Some people say the optimal amount is twice per week, but I believe that the quality of your post is more important than the quantity. So if you're just posting twice a week to post twice a week and those things you're posting aren't good quality content, then you're not helping rank for this particular factor. It needs to be high quality content that keeps viewers on your page. The second is keywords in the meta title tag, or in other words, just keywords in your titles. So you want to make sure that you're spending some time building a list of important keywords to rank for and which are important for your ideal client. And then you're going to use these throughout your site. So specifically in Squarespace, you're going to be using it on the page in your headings, specifically in your titles, as well as 
in your SEO titles and descriptions. So if you go to pages, you'll see all of your pages and things listed here. You're gonna click the gear icon next to each page and you're gonna fill out this SEO tab here with a title and description. Now you're just throwing any sort of title in there. No, you wanna be very specific and really take the time to think through a title. So what makes a good title? Um, according to Co-Schedule and a couple other articles, they suggest sticking to a 55 character limit. You want to be specific. So you don't want this too long. You wanna be specific, but concise. You're using your keywords and your key phrases, and they suggest incorporating power words. Um, so for example, if we look at this one here, it says 109 creative blog post ideas to delight your audience. So it's not just 189 creative blog post ideas. They've thrown in this delight your audience. That's their power word. It's making it interesting and engaging. Blog post ideas would be sort of their keyword or phrase. Um, and it's nice and short, concise. You know exactly what it is. Okay. Make sure that you are not uh, keyword stuffing. So you don't want to just list a whole bunch of keywords in the title or in the description. You're not just putting a whole bunch of keywords in. That's called keyword stuffing. Um, you want to make sure you're writing it for humans. Okay, Humans are reading this. Make sure you're writing it for them um, and that you're not being too kind of clickbaity um, so that you know whatever you post is, is actually what they're going to find or else when they click over to your site, they're going to automatically click out of your site, which is going to harm your SEO. So make sure that the title you're using is specific, concise. It relates to your post. It's appropriate for your post, but it uses some keywords and it's interesting using some power words or some um, interesting words in there to really engage people into your content. Okay. And again, you're putting that into your titles and into your SEO titles and descriptions. The last ranking factor we're going to talk about is backlinks. So backlinks happen when another site links to your site. Now this can't be just anybody. You'll see some um, programs and things out there that you basically buy or purchase for people to link to your site. That's not necessarily going to help you. It's not about just having a backlink. It needs to be a link from a um, reputable website. So you want to make sure that this is for somebody that's that's actually going to have people coming to your site. Um, so whether maybe you do some guest posting, guest blogging, guest podcasting, um, and you have people link from there. Um, maybe you are working with another business in your niche to kind of write a post together. Um, you can also do internal links within your own website to link to other blog posts. So you'll notice this on my site with, you know, resources that I've mentioned is backlinks to other sites, but then I also share posts from my own site that I think you would like based on which post you originally came to. Um, and so that's kind of backlinking to myself or internally backlinking. Okay, so again, your four steps. You're first going to go to the SEO checklist by Squarespace. You're following through all of their things. And your next three steps involve the top three Google algorithm ranking factors by First Page Sage. And that is consistently, regularly posting high quality content for your ideal clients to get them to your website and keep them on your page. You're making sure to put keywords in your titles on your page, in your content, and also in your SEO title and description. Okay, and you're making sure that these are keywords and phrases that people will be searching for, but you're not keyword stuffing. You're still writing it authentically for humans and using some power words to really draw them in. And finally, you're going to be working on getting some backlinks to your site, um, getting other reputable sources to link to your site, whether through guest posting, blogging, and so on, or also including some internal links to other posts and things on your site. And those are your top four steps to rank number one in Google in 2022.